tonight on the scariest places on earth. For 700 years, this ancient Italian abbey has terrified all who enter. Ah! I can't move! An abandoned cathedral. Big churches have always been scary. 22 forbidden rooms. Take my word for it, there's something going on with this stove. 100 corpses. It's a body. Oh, it is. And one American family trying to make it through the night. <laughs> What is it that makes a place scary? Is it the uncertainty of walking into darkness? Is it the knowledge that a place has had a horrible history? Is it not knowing where your family members are and if they are safe? The Ardonias family of Southern California had to confront each of these questions head on when they were asked to spend the night at a monastery known as Lucerio in Northern Italy, one of the scariest places on earth. Principatio di Lucidio. Three twenty two AM. I'm scared. I don't know what to do now. I can't see. Oh my god. I'm a senior in high school. One more year left, then off to college. Jennifer, my sister, she is your typical teenager my daughter Jennifer, uh, she's a great kid. She has a great sense of humor. A lot of the people, like, psychologically, they freak themselves out. I really think that mom's going to be the one who gets scared first. I mean, mm -hmm. I just know it. I have this yeah. feeling. You're going to be the first one. Hey, how are you going to handle this? Because I know you get a little, like, giggly and stuff. <laughs> I think I'll be fine. I'm scared of a lot of things, but I do try. I want that experience. I really don't see Bob getting scared of anything. He'll be really excited and interested and chase after whatever he might see. <laughs> Who are you gonna call? Yeah, Bob. <laughs> I guess I always wanted to tell my own good ghost story, and I thought maybe I'd get my chance on this trip. I'm pretty sure my mind is gonna get to me and I'll freak myself out. <laughs> <laughs> like Shakespeare just said, uh, there was more things between heaven and earth than are dreamt of, and I kind of believe that. I'm not worried, but I'm pretty nervous on what I'm going to encounter there, and I hope I do encounter something that'll freak me out. <laughs> and uh, that's it. <laughs> Jennifer, I just heard something. Jennifer. Jennifer <laughs> Northern Italy. Lucidio Lucifer. 1,200 acres, 22 rooms, 50,000 square feet, 700 years of dark history and evil deeds. Can you imagine a better place for the devil to hide? A cathedral. About 700 years ago, a group of monks came here from France and learned how to cultivate rice in an area where rice should not have grown. Many believe that as the monks prospered, they became greedy and began to mistreat the people in this area. The devil tried to get in the monks' minds, to change them and make them evil, like he was. 
Lucerio was built here, in that place, as a seal to an evil force coming out. But the people who built the abbey weren't able to keep the force down, so that probably this evil force is coming in and out. Officials in Rome dispatched a group of inquisitors to come to Lucerio and murder the monks. Usually when you go to a haunted place, you can feel one, two, three presences. But Lucerio is very crowded with presences, with people. And also, it's not just a matter of a place being haunted, but there's a lot of suffering in that place. The mummified remains of the monks are still at Lucerio. Some were entombed beneath the cathedral. Others are still in the crypt rooms behind the altar. Every corridor you walk down, you see a walled up. We know what's behind those walls. After the monks were killed, Lucerio was sealed up, bricked over, and whole sections buried. All this was done as a way to bury the evil and the bad energy. On the surface, it's a church beneath the surface. It's what's really going on. It's a trap, just waiting for people to walk into it. The Ordonez family of California is walking into that trap. Maybe I'll become a believer. <laughs> I'm hoping, that's what I'm hoping for. We'll see dead people, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. Do you guys think we'll actually see something like a spirit? Do you think it's I possible? I do believe yeah. that. Yeah. I do. I guess maybe because I really wish want it. I want it to happen. Well, I think the whole thing we have to consider is it's simply an adventure, and that's what's going to be really cool, is, you know, being able to talk about it afterwards, you know. So hopefully we'll see something. That's what I'm really excited about. And that's the trap you fall into. It's just another one of those things that always has a happy ending. No, this is real. And if you go into it with that kind of arrogance, you fail. A group of monks came here from France, and they brought hundreds of people to this site, and they carried out black magic rituals. They'd betrayed God. They were gonna bring the devil to this place. Now, it was on this site that one of the biggest rituals, dark rituals, took place. It was called Mare Ex Cruo Cruciatus, the Sea of Blood and Agony. They placed an altar stone in the center of a massive courtyard. And then one by one, they would bring their victim in to prayer and then club him until his skull was entirely flat. And then they would push the body to one side and bring another and club them to death. Imagine if you were 10th in that lane, ninth in that lane, second in that lane. You can't imagine fear like that. I'm hearing people speaking Latin. I see torture in this place. They're suffering. It was as if those here were trying to open a door to hell. The powers in Rome couldn't fail to hear about something like that. But you can't hang 60, 70 priests, even if they're holy, not upwards, but downwards. So all over Lucerio, you have holy men in their vestments, buried in a wall, buried in a crypt, buried in a church. They're everywhere. There's a column, a Roman pillar. The top of the pillar is absolutely dry, and yet in the middle, there is an area that is soaking wet. It's weeping, it's crying, and they're saying that it's the tears of the souls that have passed over. Sono Don Sebastiano Lesquier, sacerdote vercellese, perché qui siamo nella diocesi di Vercelli. My name is Don Sebastiano Lesquier. I was, as we may say, the last resident priest here. There are no elements of the legends that are true.
If the legends aren't true, then why won't you show your face? No comment. That's There's something up ahead. Whoa. Pretty big. This is the Virgin of the Vine. It's one of a number of abandoned churches in this area of Italy. This entire area is known for sacrificial rites, black magic, devil worship, satanic ritual, and many of the churches have been desecrated and used for things that they were not meant. This is one of them. It is said hereabout that the devil takes many faces at Lucerio. The English for Lucerio is luminance, and there is nothing further from the truth. It's got nothing to do with the light. It has everything to do with the dark. Follow the path from whence you came. When you get there, you will see the flame at the great gates, gates known as La Volta della Morte, the gates of death. That leads to Lucerio. Welcome to Lucerio. You are now inside what has been called the Hall of Judgment. Others who have lived here and those who have investigated the strange phenomena have all felt the same presence and dark energy. Now you find proof for yourself. On the table before you are two very different kinds of equipment. The first set is from your world, the 21st century. The second are tools from the Middle Ages. Both sets of equipment do the same thing. You mustn't use your thumbs. Hold them gently, only with your fingers, loosely grasping the handles. The rods are said to cross wherever spirit activity is more intense. Now more people will always see spirit or the black shadows in reflection than will ever see them straight ahead. The people of Lucerio knew this and they used this device, a mirror attached to a pole that they would place at the sight of their face. Breathe on the mirror. You may be fortunate, and a message could be left there for you. You must also use the ancient crystal. If it spins in a clockwise direction, you're surrounded by spirit. There's an envelope that bears one of your names. Open it. You will search for evidence of spirit activity. Jennifer and Gloria, take the laser thermometer and travel to the cathedral. There you will measure temperature variation in this once holy space. Frank and Yvette, take the gauss meter to the torture chamber. Measure temperature changes that might indicate the presence of a spirit. Robert, take the thermal camera, go to first floor where the rooms are in ruins and search for evidence of thermal variations. It looks like some of the monks stayed, I suppose. Continue to explore. <sighs> Another uh, quarters, there's a small fireplace. Some of there's just some devices on here. I don't know what they were, if they were torture or what. I can't tell.
Okay, we're in the torture room and we're checking it out. Oh man. Check this out. It went kind of crazy. Look at all this stuff. There's another chain with another. This probably went around their neck. Now, yes, I am touching the ah, chains around their necks. Here's one on the floor again. Here's a chest in the middle of the room. Do we open it? I'll tell you this, I'm glad we're together. There's a long rope on the floor that is attached to the wall, and if we step in there, it just may wrap around our ankle, because you just don't know. There are some more handcuffs along the walls. What the heck is this? What did, they probably hung them from up there and then dipped them in, what, hot oil? They probably boiled them to death in that. The kid I used to be frightened of those old Many churches. Ch have always. I, 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 yep, I remember scary. Grandma taking me to the church, the old Placita. Why, why does it give you that feeling? I don't know. It's a place of God. I know. It freaks me out. Yes. And they had all those saints. That's what attracted me to that one right there. We don't have to go there, do we? I don't want to. Oh, wait, wait. Mom, I'm just turning. Shh. Don't go, wait. I'm, I'm just this. measuring this. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. like, I want, like, a big, giant flashlight. That's what I want. Oh. Wait, there is something here. <gasps> I think I see oh. something. Oh. What is it? You know what? Um, I'm this, this sure I saw something move. And... Oh. 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 Yvette, are you OK? That's affirmative. This thing. My God. <gasps> oh, mom, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come here, Mia. Come here. Mom, I'm scared. You're fine. You're fine. Mom. We'll be fine. Look at the doors open. We'll I know. I know. We can run. I know. I know. Okay, okay. come on. I don't want to go up there, Mom. Okay, let me do it. Let me do it. Okay, stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Okay, I'm staying here. Don't move. I'm not doing anything. Don't move. I don't want to go up the stairs because I'll. Jen, I'm okay. Stay here, babe. Oh, to drink have morning. always scared me. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking so much I can't even hold this camera. <sighs> okay, okay. Yeah. It's Don't scary. Go. Mom, come back. What the heck is that? <gasps> Mom, come back. Oh, it's easy. Something's moving. It's probably just that or not, probably not. Uh, take my word for it, there's something going on with this stove. I'm looking closer. <laughs> Everybody, I, we, me and Frank heard a big thump noise. Are you guys okay? I don't know what it was. Something made a big loud noise. And I'm by a wooden stove and the thermal camera is picking up something warm on it. There's nothing there. I don't get it. Over. A warning. And the fog is coming in. It's still here dripping. Mom, are you okay? Huh? Jen? Are you okay? Okay, I'm okay. I'm moving the rocks. This is so scary. What is that? I am just so curious to go back there. Once I get calm again, I want to do it and I can't. Okay, that's it. Okay, Mom, are you okay? What is it? Mom and Jen, are you okay? Over. Mom's okay. It's just that we keep getting farther, and then it gets scarier. <sighs> you know, I can't. Oh, my gosh. Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it. This is so hard. 
This is the hardest thing I've ever done, and I'm not even doing anything. I can't get down. I keep trying and trying. <sighs> it's too frightening. It's way too scary. these ruins. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I hear dripping over here. Like water dripping. <laughs> It's moving. Um, oh. So that's how you do it. It's okay. Bob, this thing is really moving. Oh. Oh. The rods are. Oh my god, look at these rods. <gasps> these rods are just going, 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 going. Look at that. The crisscrossing. They're all crossing right here. Inside the forbidden rooms. Okay, we're ready to leave this room now. Well, let's do the the crystal check. There it is. Okay, go. Which way is that? It spun towards you, like cat clockwise. That means spirits are here, right? That means there's spirits in this room. Easy, easy. A lot well, of activity I, I here. I These rod irons are just crossing right over other each other. Gloria cannot stay in the cathedral. Robert joins Frank to search for proof of paranormal activity. I know we're coming to these, are those the confessionals or something? Yeah. Uh, is this crossing? Ooh. Did you do that? No. Back up. Let's try it again. Very loosely, okay? Very loosely. Ooh, they're going. They're going. They're going. That's not me. That's, That's not, not me. Oh, okay, they crossed. Nice. Okay. They did cross. All by themselves. Okay. But Aim it at this. What, this? Yeah. It is. If you're not doing that... No, I, I don't do anything. I just kind of hold them in it. I saw it. It goes by itself. I saw it. There was... We get readings with the rods, but nothing with the camera. Kind of indicating that maybe some of these old ways are better. You can pick up things that this uh, new equipment maybe cannot pick up. They're way across. Contact. Let's go behind. Come on. You ready? This is what your mom was talking about, the pulpit. Okay. Start with them apart again. Here, you want to try it? <laughs> okay. You want to switch? Okay. Yeah. Like this, Frank? Look at my hand. Yeah, that's all I had. Oh, yeah, just as long as the thumbs cannot touch it. Yeah. Okay, I'm putting them together. Oh, I can feel it, Frank. Isn't it wild? It, like, really has this... I'm not doing that. ...energy that just... I'm not doing that. No. You know me. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm not doing that. Oh. Oh, my God. Look at that. I can... Oh, I can feel it. No, I, that's... What's so amazing? What's that opening right there? Pretty well. Look, I'm gonna try it with. Let me go ahead of you, friend. Well, there's their crossing again. Uh huh. That's a, a real response to something. Come on. Let's go back there. Whoa, what's that? Oh, oh this is like their dressing chambers. 
and uh, and they're oh yeah, look at this. Oh, there's they're crossing again. Let's go. Can we get in? Look at there's a little bit here. Hey, look at that whoa! It was in this area. There's a lot of. I could feel the pull almost quickly. You saw how quickly they pulled it when I went towards this pulpit. I don't know what that means, but there was a lot of something happened here. Is this, is this the top, Frank? This is like the cover, isn't it? Uh, no, I think it's the skull. Oh, you... No, this thing right here. This isn't the body, or is it? Is it? It's a body. Oh, it is. Oh, wow. That's wild. Yeah, that is wild. Gloria has gone from bad to worse. 2.01 a.m. to the ground. <sighs> Easy. What's this? Who? Why did you do that? Feel myself. Check the mirror. Oh, my light went out. Oh, my God. much. Jennifer, Ann, or Yvette, please respond. Do you want us to come and get you? Are you okay? Over. Mom is by herself. We don't know. Mom, I don't know what mom's doing. Me and Yvette are together. We're fine. I don't know where mom is. Ann, this is Bob. Please respond. Are you okay? Over. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Ann, we're coming to get you. Over. Yeah, you've been through a lot too, Mom. <sighs> Just uh, a lot. Feel like nauseous, mm -hmm. very lightheaded. Mm -hmm. Almost want to kind of like pass out type of thing. Well, you've come this far, and if you've made it to this point in the evening, you've got to ask yourself, have I been affected in ways that I can't yet understand? Or in ways that I'm yet to see? You must ask yourself, will I leave this place without it seeping into my soul? So face your fears one more time. You must continue alone to five points within Lucerio. Many have tried to do this, and many have failed. I don't want to. It's okay, Jen. You can do it. I don't want to go. <laughs> Come on, babe. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to go. Jen, baby. Okay. All right, hon. This is so hard. <laughs> you don't want to do it? We, we can stop. No, I have to do it. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be okay, baby. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it, babe. Hey, you guys. We're, we're, let's take Kurt to that first, and then we'll go to our respective places. Okay, 
Stay with me. That's yeah, it. I'm with you. I won't let anything happen to you. You know that. <laughs> Come on. We can do it. Let me stay right in front of you. Look. Follow me. We'll look. Try the mirror. Try the mirror right here. <sighs> hey, you guys. Jaffer just tried fogging the mirror with her breath. Uh, it says D-I-E backwards. That's what it looks like. Got that message. It looked like it said D I E backwards. <sighs> this is not funny. Ignores the warning and separates the monk's dormitory, the torture chamber, the villa, the cathedral, the forbidden rooms. I'm scared. 3.22 a.m. I don't know what to do now. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <gasps> I heard some screaming. Is everybody okay out there? Over. <laughs> Jennifer! What's wrong? Oh, man. Jennifer! Jennifer, I just heard something. Does anyone hear me? Nobody. Hears Jennifer, can you hear us? Oh my God! <laughs> Jennifer, be strong. I don't know where I'm going. I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> Jennifer, this is Dad. Try to remain calm. I'm trying to come to your voice, but I'm outside. I got a long way to go. I'm stuck. I'm, 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 I don't know where to go. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm stuck. I don't know I what to do. Cradle. Jennifer, Jennifer, this is Yvette. I'm going to try and come and get you, hon. I'm, I'm over here. Oh, my God. Where are you, baby? There's the news. <laughs> I see a big cradle. Hung people right there. Jennifer, can you hear me? Over. Jennifer, it's Dad. Come in. I'm up a lot of stairs and they hung people right there. Oh my God. Where are you? And I can't see. And I'm alone. And they killed people. They killed so many people here. Jennifer, we spawn. Jennifer, come in. Over. I got you, babe. I can hear you, but I don't know where you're at. I don't know where Keep I... talking. Dad? Dad? Okay. I don't know where I came from. I'm lost. I don't know which way to go. Jennifer? Dad? I hear you. Where are you? I'm outside in a courtyard. How? How do I get outside, Dad? <laughs> oh, I can hear you outside. I found Jennifer. I found Jennifer. Come on, babe. Come on, babe. I found Jennifer. Over. Just hang in there. You don't know. Hang in there. Hang in there. Where I am. Okay, Jennifer and I are in the courtyard outside. Hang in there, you guys. She's with me now. We'll try to find the others. Follow me, Jen. I want you, when I get off the radio, to talk. Y'all real loud, see if we can hear you. There she is. Can you hear me? Yes, and we can hear you. Okay, take it easy, Gloria. You can do it. Anne, are you upstairs? Over. I would say I'm upstairs. I'm in the dormitory dormitory for the monks uh, used to sleep. Yeah, just stay there. We're coming. Hang in. Oh. 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 Get me out of here. Oh, man. Oh. Is that just you? Stay We're coming. Who's, Papa, are you pony? Oh, my God. Oh. Take a deep breath. Here's the, oh, what's that? 
Hello? Oh my gosh. Going nuts here. Oh, he's there. Hello, Bob? Hang in there. We're coming. We, we just can't get to the stairs. <laughs> Your steps, guys. Mom? Uh, oh, where are you? Ann? Yeah, oh, here, here, here. Yvette, you okay? We got her. You've got mother. Oh my God. I was, there was a doorway. I couldn't believe I missed it. The way you just came. That way. Oh, it's becoming a bit much now, huh? I'm beginning to feel nauseous. Let's, let's come outside and regroup. I need some air myself. Guys, I kind of got us into this and I think we've had enough. I'm gonna say it's oh, over. Okay. Okay. You okay, Jen? No, she's not okay. All right, then it's That's okay. okay. It's all right. It doesn't bother me. I we did something that nobody, not a lot of people have gotten to do, and it's okay, babe. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, that's it. No more. Okay, spirits. We, we get the hint. better? Uh, <laughs> it's better no, Jennifer? I don't care. But how are you going to handle it? You know, I don't know. know. Under the circumstances, we're going to have to stop. What I would like is to go around and know how you feel. I felt some things and saw some things that uh, have changed my mind. The presences here were disturbed by us being here. They did not welcome us here and they made that clear. In the cathedral room, Frank and I used those rods and we got a lot of activity on the rods and uh, I could feel the rods pulling. I actually felt them, Frank did too. And that's when I said, I can believe, I believe there's a lot going on in here now because I saw it with my own eyes. I feel that they're out there. Um that they're watching us and that they were playful in a bad way. I felt the presence of, I don't know who it was or what it was. I was a believer anyway in the beginning, so it's nothing uh, that I did not believe in, but it just seems just more, in, I'm in more in tune with what's out there and for sure there's going to be something with me from here on out. Yeah, if anything, our bonds are stronger now than I think they even were before. The things I experienced here tonight, I saw that fear in them, and that's when I my decision was to stop it, because I didn't want to see that anymore. I'm not a skeptic in the sense that I was. Uh, what I witnessed just by things moving, um, by the noises I heard without actually seeing anything. I wasn't a believer before, but I am now, definitely. Um, I'm tired. And I feel like I failed, kind of. No, you no, don't. No, 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 no. I know you guys say no, but I feel like that. I didn't fail to you guys, but me, personally, I failed. <laughs> I did. It's and okay. I was this close to doing yeah. what you're doing.
I bet you anyone that I could ever talk to in my entire life could never experience anything that I've experienced tonight. I never thought I would ever be so scared like this. And it can change you <laughs> from being a total skeptic to a total believer. So what is it that makes a place scary? Is it knowing that terrible things have gone on in that place? Is it believing that evidence of evil spirit activity has been found? Is it the difficulty of coming face to face with what you fear most? On one cold evening in Northern Italy, the Ordonius family found out that scary can be all of these things and more. I'm Linda Blair, good night. Rock and roll roadies with no gig to roadie in an hour, but have another drink then. Sky Digital customers can head for the red and press the red button now to find out what's on next on UK Horizons and other channels in the UK TV network.